Hi there, today I'm talking about the Tado system again. Uh, one of the problems I've had is my system not firing up. Trying to get support from Tado can be quite difficult and you may be going through a lot of uh, one step uh, solutions to try and get to your end resolution. So they'll give you something to do and then you have to go and report back to them. It takes a long time. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna go through a, a couple of things that I've noticed. One is that uh, the Tado system works very well, but if there's a faulty um, unit, a radiator, a valve, then you can end up with problems. So I was having problems with my Tado was not responding uh, consistently to the call for heat. So one of the things I did was I eased all the pins uh, with WD-40 to make sure they were, they were activating. Uh, one of the things that I didn't think was to check if the Tado, the unit itself, this thing here, was actually activating. Um, I was watching the displays change, you know, uh, you've got this little uh, display, so you get the, you get the color, uh, the little LEDs lighting up, telling you the temperatures, etc. I was checking that, and that was lighting everything, seeing it's going from to 25 degrees Celsius. However, what wasn't happening was this thing here wasn't moving. Oh, look, it decides to move now, uh, but that wasn't moving. So when I called for heat, it would move, um, but other times it wouldn't move, okay? So it's a faulty unit. So what I did was took this unit off, and lo and behold, um, I noticed that I was getting consistently uh, heat coming up and running, and that worked quite well um, for a period of time, about maybe uh, 10 days or so. Then I had a similar kind of problem. I think, what could possibly be? So I, I went on to the, uh, to the command unit, uh, I could hear, when I asked for heat, I could hear the relay switch clicking on, and that unit will then send a message to the boiler to say, power up. So we're assuming, again, you can't really assume this, that the boiler is getting a signal from that uh, that uh, little unit uh, next to the boiler, the little rectangular unit, um, but why was it not switching? So I looked at the water pressure levels, and they were just sitting on one uh, one bar, which is basically the green the start of the green line. So I thought that was okay. Uh, however, it turns out to be that those analog systems, analog uh, units are not very accurate. So I was suggested that uh, uh, to increase that up above the, the, the base green line to a little bit middle. And uh, lo and behold, guess what? It starts to accurately fire. So you can't rely on that analog uh, dial uh, to be precise. It's better to, to just give it a little bit extra and then test it out. And as I said, sure enough, it's it's worked to treat. Don't put in too much water because all you're gonna do is you're gonna get an overflow and if there's any, any dirt in the radiator uh, water, it can potentially just uh, just sit on the valve on the pressure release valve at the back and just hold it open, meaning you get a trickle of uh, water from your closed circuit system out. So easy solution, uh, take out if you're having problems with your Tados, take out all of these, okay, and just place one at a time and see if the system fires accurately. If it's not firing accurately, also check your water levels to make sure that the water levels in the boiler are above the minimum, uh, but not in the maximum, okay? So check that as well. Um, if you want to, well, the way I checked this system was I put the, um, I, I asked uh, the Tado app to call for heat and this thing would either pop in or go down, etc., cetera, um, consistently. And in my case, it didn't go up and down consistently, uh, which indicated that it wasn't working as it should do. Um, so that's your answer to your problem, hopefully.